Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. It has been a little bit since I sat down to record this game. So, uh, let's get in here and see where we last were. It's not like we left off last time at a great stopping spot. Um, I mean, maybe it wasn't a bad stopping spot. It's just that uh, I was working on putting out another series on YouTube, and I overestimated the amount of time that was all going to take, and I underestimated my, uh, estimated the amount of time I had available to me. And so it's been like a week and a half. Uh, it's been two weeks, probably. week and a half since I last played Baldur's Gate 3. So, uh, but I've missed it desperately in that time, honestly. Um, sometimes I set a game aside for a little bit, and I'm like, eh, I'm having fun, and I want to get back to it soon. Sometimes I miss it desperately. I miss the characters. I miss where I was. I miss figuring out what was going on. I miss just interacting in general. This was the second one. Um, and I miss the music. Ah! This is episode 67, by the way. Um, welcome back. So last we left off, uh, we helped Halson uh, walk back through the portal um, with Thaniel. So, uh, I think we ended the episode right after that. I think directly after that. Let's go ahead and take a look at our quest uh, log real quick. Oh my god. I was putting a smile on my face just to be hearing this music. Wow. I'm so happy. I love this game, man. Find Arabella's parents is complete. Oh, we woke up Art. He told House that he met the spirit of the land, Thaniel. In Spiritfall, we did that. Uh, and then here's my question. Do we need to... Okay. I think technically the very last thing we had done is speak with Arabella. Yeah. So, great. Um, Breathe deep. Remember that heartbreaking conversation? All right, let's just go ahead and I think we're pretty much good on spell slots. Uh, at least for a little bit. Oh. At least for a little bit, I think we're good with Halson, so, or with spell slots. So let's go ahead and just uh, leave camp. And figure out what's next for us. I hope you've had a great... Uh, a great last week or so. If you're watching these episodes right as you come, as they come out, you've had to take a week away from these episodes, which I'm sorry for. If you uh, are watching them much later, then that doesn't matter to you at all. But okay, so what are the, what's the state of things here? Um, we have explored a ton of Rythwin. The road to Baldur's Gate still exists. Um, the Githyanki Kresh area potentially still exists we found oh that's right Daniel's holy shit Daniel's other half shadow or whatever was this person so let's go there once you could hear nature's symphony in this place now it is quiet quiet and dead quiet and dead I can make some animal noises if it will make you feel more at home it's kind of kinky. Well enough as it is. Oh, I was gonna say that's kind of kinky, and then Halson was a dickhole about it. Uh, so is it technically up here? It's up Time here, right? Ahead. We had our character up here, um, Oliver, who is apparently this the, the other half of Daniel. Let's go see what Oliver has to say. I won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Though shrouded in shadows, the child's resemblance to Thaniel is unmistakable. This must be his dark half, warped by the curse. Go on, find someone else to play with. We are getting right back into the shit here, aren't we? I know you really are where you really belong. You need to reunite with Thaniel. Spoil sport. I'm not going back. I like it here. I've made a family for myself. I get to play all the time. It's possible you'll tire of all that playing. It's possible you're already tired of all that playing. Maybe there's a, uh, don't you ever think hide and seek's no fun? Your parents are, uh, when, when you've played it for a bunch of years in a row, your parents are uh, 
not really all that engaging either. You don't belong here. Like it or not, you don't belong here. Yes, I do. You can't make me do anything. I'm not trying to. I don't want to play with you anymore. Okay. That little bastard. Where'd he go? I think he was supposed to have disappeared there, but I, I can see invisible because of my eye. <laughs> so I think in that exact scene... Oh, no, there's a portal. Shit. I think in that thing... Uh, like, in that cutscene, he probably, for most people, disappears. But for me, he sort of wisped and then walked directly off screen. All right, well, let's see what this fucking shadow portal does. This... Oh, great. We're back to Baldur's Gate 3... I've been here six minutes and I'm jumping into a portal. Shadow portal to another realm. Can't wait. Initiative. Love it. Daddy and mummy, we've done this already. Not again. This took us to the middle of town. A night dome has 300 HP. Night dome. Cursed vengeance. Oliver's Night Dome won't allow for you to hurt him. Any damage done to the dome will be reflected in twofold to its attacker. Yikes. The Shadowed Spirit of the Land. I, I wonder if I've already messed up today. <laughs> I've been here for just a minute. I wonder if I've already fucked up. You could do a plant growth here and then just attack from a distance. Um, I think that's a... Oh, man. I'm feeling a little rusty here. I don't think we've played Halston in, uh, in combat, really. So let's, uh... Let's figure out Halston's, uh... Halston's things first. All right. Ooh, wild shape. These guys don't have crazy HP. 67 times 2. 134 HP is all we have to really do not bad at all hmm. spike growth takes two to eat two to eight piercing damage for every 1.5 meter it moves i kind of feel like we should try it let's do it so they're going to be able to move out relatively easy but oh well um, we can, uh, shillelagh our staff or club into a magical weapon, um, starts to do extra damage. Uh, if we do that, actually the normal thing does. Uh, use your spellcasting ability for attack rolls, or we could flame blade. Let's do that. Cool, I've got a flame blade. Sweet. We'll walk over here. Let's we'll call go. that a turn. Carlac, I just want you to attack from a distance here. Uh, let's hit Daddy. Let's uh, let's give Dad, let's give Oliver some Daddy issues. Uh, and I don't know that I need to rage just yet. I think we're okay. Aura of Vile Oblivion. Daddy used Daddy's Lecture on Marcus Everystar. I got to tell you, as a person with dad issues, father issues, I, daddy issues sounds wrong, uh, with dad issues, who just hung out with my dad today and frankly probably needs to go to a therapy session about it. This is, that's, that's psychological warfare there right there. Okay, well, uh... How many lucky do I even have? Sure. Okay, still hit. Mm, Marcus. I think for now I'm kind of enjoying the... Like, what happens if we just... I haven't really had a chance to say it yet. My idea for how this uh, combat is probably going to work Need to stay focused. is just... Kill mommy and daddy. Sounds terrible, but do it. And in the process, uh, Oliver will come to our 
subside eventually. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and just hit him with a guiding bolt. I have disadvantage. I should have checked on that. 13 damage. Great. Okay. Uh, spread out a little bit. Call it a turn. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did you take damage? Why didn't you take damage from these thorns? Is it because you're, like, hovering? Wait, what just happened? Wait, shit. What just happened? Friends until the end? Summon your friends to play? Oh, no. This combat just got very different. These are your friends. Your shadow... That seems cursed. Your, uh... Your shadow friends. Okay. Well, I think we're about to wild shape, huh? I don't think we need our concentration on this spike growth. So what do we want to be? Cave bear? Let's do cave bear. Let's do that first. We'll do something else if we don't want to. Or if we, uh, uh another time. Uh, multi-attack is multiple attacks at a single target. So that's not actually what we want. Right? It says multiple attacks at a target. Let's just hit normal here. It's once per battle, it looks like. Okay, 15. Oh, nope, okay. Make an extra additional. Okay. Um, cool. That worked out fine. Let's go ahead and get up close here because I think we want to do an opportunity attack here. Uh, I like how uh, Halson's name actually disappears when he becomes a cave bear. It just says cave bear. It's like, who's Halson? This is just cave bear. All right, you convinced me. Let's fucking rage. Not that it's at all going to matter for these little 1 HP. I've killed all your friends. This is terrible. This sounds really terrible. Heading out. Can't attack anymore. So let me get a little bit closer here if possible. Nope. Okay. Daddy's lecture on Shadowheart. If anyone in this party has daddy issues, it's definitely Shadowheart. All right. Um, now, this is interesting. This is the magic that we got from Arabella. Holy shit. Arabella's Shadow Entangle. Entangle undead and shadow creatures. It's a strength save. Weave-bound vines. Vines crafted from the very weave itself, a most unorthodox enchantment. Strength save, level one. And here's my question. Their strength sucks. So that's wildly effective. Wait a second. Are these new? Oh, shit. It's right behind my camera. This looks new. You see these little icons right here? The strength icon? Dex icon? Con? Intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Those are beautiful. I love those. Hmm. Anyways, okay. Uh, they, they may have been there since the start of the game, but something about stepping away from the game for a little bit gave me a, uh, a new appreciation of it. I think we should probably try Entangle, and I think we should probably try it on Mummy. Oh, I just entangled you as well because it's a... Okay, that does make sense. Mummy's not entangled? Wait, did I just misclick? Oh, shit. Undead and shadow. This is undead. And also, frankly, it looks like a shadow. May have just messed up there. Focus. Okay, okay, okay. Currently have advantage on uh, Daddy because of Guiding Bolt. Let's just go ahead and... 
Guiding Bolt you? Does that break? Guiding Bolt on the other one? Nope. Cool. Uh... Mummy was definitely not entangled. Let me show you my favorite toy. I understand. We're not doing... Oh, that's cool. I understand. We're not doing... Uh... A combat where we need to hurt Oliver. It's a shadow owl bear. We're doing a combat where Oliver gets to give us a tour of Oliver's favorite. Friends and toys. Concentration broken on the entangle. That's fine. Oh, I was only entangling myself. Hey, bear's really hurting. We're... says you're entangled. Is that true? Because <laughs> technically it broke with uh, with Marcus, right? Still on my feet. It broke. But why are we still entangled? Okay. Let's try a lunar mend because we've never done that before. Try level three. Three to we have plenty of level three slots. I got ten. I rolled three D eight and I got ten. House and you roll like shit. Oh, they did update the game. Look at this. It's just combat round three now. It's like the the big log is broken up into smaller things now. Cool. Okay. This advantage still will hit. The thing is that I can't move, but I can still hit you from there. I don't have enough action or resources to get there. Uh, enough Fuck movement. Yes. Carlac is going in. Actually, we don't need to. Uh... Okay, this fight does did just get a lot more interesting. We don't need to reckless unless uh, it's absolutely necessary. Um. I'm really close to daddy, which I think would be really fun to get a kill here. The problem is if I move, I get an attack of opportunity. Let's try and kill daddy first. One more. Done. Sorry. I'll get an attack of opportunity. It's worth it to try and get over to this owlbear to uh, try and give... Marcus uh, a chance to escape if he can disengage. All right. Where do I go from here? We're all on the same initiative now. Oh, shadow plush. That's so cute. I wonder if it's supposed to have a thing here. It's really, it's, uh, it's really pleasing to look at. The fact that you, the way that you can see through it, but it still looks like it has a texture. Uh, okay. I should probably disengage here. I'm a support character. I have no bardics left, though. So, my real power here is just spells. The thing is, if I take a disengage, does that mean that I take zero? Yep, zero. Okay, cool. We're going to go back and heal. We're going to go back to, like, here. Step forward. We're going to uh, chomp into a potion of greater healing. And that's going to be your turn. Let's end this. Shadowheart, what can you do for me here? Um, do any of the rest of them take radiant damage? Radiant vulnerability. Uh, give me some spirit guardians of the radiant variety. Now, here's the other question. Did these guys also take radiant damage? They do. So, all we got to do... 60 HP. All we got to do is get close enough for you to take damage. 14. Without... Shit. Taking up an opportunity attack, which I fucked up. Come on, get closer. Can you get... You can't get closer? All I needed to do was barely hit this shit. Damn it. I fucked up. Okay. Oh, well. Um... 
Let's healing word the cave bear. Take two. Which will give you temp HP plus six HP. Good move. No more guiding bolt on you. Cave bear is getting hurt. That's all right. AKA Halson. For what does that just say? Friends until the end. Just more of these guys. Shadow art. You kept the save. You're a genius. You kept the save. You're so hot, Shadowheart. By that I mean concentration stay up. Halson came out of wild shape form. I feel like the audio is really loud right now, and I don't know what's going on there. Let's just turn it down a little bit. Not the same, but we'll turn this one down. Um. Got to keep the music volume up. Okay. Smallest little bit. The house is out of uh, wild shape. Which is fine. I need the ability to do a lot of damage to a bunch of uh, people. Fairy fire could hit four. Which would kill all of them. I'm down to 30 max HP right now. God damn. I think that's a good use of a spell. You're spoiling my fun. <laughs> You're spoiling my fun. Okay. Now. Do I bonus action wild shape again? Um, I sure could. It's the way to give myself extra HP. I could also do something else. Mm -mm -mm. Do we want to become an owlbear? Let's become an owlbear. Fuck it. Owlbear v. Owlbear over here. Let's go get him. We don't have enough actions, but we'll go run up right behind him. Cool. Bye forever, pal. Okay. Um, I need more attacks. I got to tell you, this is not. This is too many people. Uh, but Shadowheart, I think has already done damage to you. So let's go tactical view here. I think Spirit Guardians has already hurt you this turn. So instead we're gonna, oh shit. Did I walk too close to you again? I killed a couple of you. That kills you, perfect, okay. Let's get used to my turn. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get you to attack here once. And then attack you. Well, well. What we have here. That puts us very close to uh, Spirit Guardians should kill you next turn. Okay. Um, good turn for Carlac. Still breathing, despite everything. Despite everything. Uh, Shadowheart really needs to heal herself, which I think would be fine. Um, we also would love to kill Mummy here. The thing I'm nervous about is I don't know... Night Dome's down to 90 HP? Wait a second. When did that happen? <laughs> when did that happen? I haven't been paying any attention at all. I, I have not been... I've been so focused on the moment to moment here that I have not paid attention to the overall how the fight is going in uh, a while. So... I wonder if it's going down when I'm hurting other shadow beings. The thing about the Night Dome is that it just says... Oliver's Night Dome won't allow you to hurt him. Any damage done to the dome will be reflected in twofold to its attacker, aka myself. I don't think I've actually in I've actually hurt it. Let's try a. Hmm.
Okay, new move. New move here. Oh, I think I want to try just hitting it with my crossbow. So here's the question. Crossbow is piercing damage, but this is a magical weapon, right? It's enchanted. So this should be non... This should not be halved. So hypothetically, my 4 to 12 damage, if I roll it correctly... Beautiful. Nightdome was hit for 60 damage. So I have not been paying attention to that at all. I think when the enemies fall, the Night Dome takes damage. I really have not been paying attention to that. Shadow Fiend fell to a lethal blow. Night Dome was hit for 10 damage. So really, we want more Shadow Fiends because they're 1 HP, but they do 10 damage to this. Damn, okay. Don't waste all right, let's step. get closer. Uh, let's go ahead and use a healing word here. And then Sh Shadow Heart's going to heal herself as well. Because with a uh, potion because it gives her temp HP. And then I think I will dash all the way over here. Got to press on. For the radiant damage. 13. Beautiful. Uh, this is if we kill this, I think we win. Life during on Shadow Heart. Concentration has been broken. That's fair. Don't run away from me, little turd. Friends until the end. All right, let's just kill one of those guys, yeah? As long as they don't kill one of us. First. Halston does it. Night Dome went up to 20 HP. When did the Night Dome gain damage? Hold up. And by damage, I mean HP. When did the Night Dome gain HP? What? That knocks it down to 10. Cool. Oh, that's interesting. Enrage. Give in to the owlbear's base instincts to increase your strength by two, possibly making nearby creatures fearful. Can only have temp HP from one source. Does it give you temp HP? What is it? Wait, 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 wait. What does that mean? I have good berries. I forgot. Um, we'll just end your turn because I'm pretty sure this will do it. Why couldn't yeah. you just leave me alone? Why can't I just stay here playing? I That's not right. I've ever wanted. Right here. And you've ruined it. I'm not leaving. You can't make me. Be gentle. He's much more than a child. But he doesn't truly know that. A house in is it? <laughs> so house is in Albear form. And that's making this dialogue really funny. I wonder if I can get Halston to, like, walk out of here. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't just break the game. Uh-oh. Halston? Nope. Oh, okay. All right. So, ignoring the visual bug, with, that's really funny. Um, I've had everything I ever wanted right here. You've ruined it. I'm not leaving. You can't make me. He's more than a child, but he doesn't truly know that. Be gentle. You don't have to leave. All you have to do is lend Thaniel your strength. I'm going to take that option. Although, this is a good one, too. But let's take number number one. He's nothing to me. He left me here all this time. I had to do everything for myself. Even when it was scary. Even when I was alone. I didn't give up. I really wish I could see his face right now. Nobody's to blame here. The curse tore you two apart. Now you can be reunited. You are very brave and resourceful. Think how much you'll be able to help Thaniel. The 
So the thing I like here is that, like, if we're employing empathetic listening, what Thaniel is, what the shadowed spirit of the land, sorry, what the shadowed spirit of the land here is saying is, I did this all myself, even when it was scary, even when I was alone, I didn't give up. He's speaking his of, of his own strength in this moment. And so if we lean into that, you were very brave and resourceful. You were. That's all this is, is leaning into what you're saying. But would he even want me back? I've changed. A lot. Change is good. That's what, it's growing, uh, that's what growing up is all about. Together, you two will become more than you were before. Of course you will. You're bound to each other. To me, this isn't the better option. You're bound to each other. Well, who cares? I want him to like me, not be bound to me. I want him to want me back. Change is good. That's what growing up is all about. Together, you two will become more than you were before. So I wouldn't have to make up friends to play with anymore. I'd have someone real. That's, a, that's, a, that's another like... way to put it. And he would too, I think. All right. I'll do it. I want to do it. Dang, this is a little bit of a bummer. This visual well bug. Done. Are you crying? You're a bit big to be crying. But I suppose that's okay. I just thought you... People Bye. of any size can cry. And thank you for playing with me. You're welcome, Oliver. Oh, I can't see anything. There we go. A little bit it's right done there. It's done at last. Soon the land will be unshrouded. I shouldn't have wild shaped. We should return to Thaniel <laughs> when we can. <laughs> oh, God. Please, someone timestamp that. Please, someone timestamp that down below in the comments. I really, really, really want to be able to rewatch that exact moment when... Halson's way too close face. Oh my god. Well, that was crazy. Um, <laughs> that was insane. No one stopped me yet. Okay, well, I don't know, even know what to say after that. Uh, we've hopefully returned the other half of Thaniel to Thaniel. We're supposed to speak to Halson at camp. Took some convincing, but Oliver agreed to reunite with Daniel. Check in next time we're in camp. Okay. Happily. Um. Great. Well. That's done. Um, the other half of what's happening here is, uh, or the other half of uh, what I was thinking we could do today is return this ledger to he who was. This is the thing that is really sketchy to me. So he who was wants to bring justice to the victims of that murderer, the dead woman. Do so he needs a ledger belonging to the killer. We found that ledger. Um, we should give it up. I think that's a fine thing to do. I don't know, seems all right. Um, I remember having some reservations about it. Stuffed Albert toy, by the way. Um, I remember having some reservations about the ledger. Like I think, I think Madeline was in over her head here, a hundred percent. I think she didn't know the mistake that she made though. I think I think she I think she led to the deaths of at least Mark and Benjamin and likely many others by spying on them and and passing along the words. But I also don't know and I don't know that this makes it okay, but I don't know that she intended to. At least in this situation she's like you've never met two gents more devoted to our lady. Hand over heart, please. They were just being they were just saying what they were saying because it was a rough moment. It was a long day. But then again, does that absolve her of her guilt? That she didn't mean to get them killed, but they still fucking got killed, that's for sure. Something good here, right? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go back to Hugh Who Was and see what the rest of that, uh, that quest is about. Let's see what happens. To do that, we got to fast travel. We're going to keep our owlbear with us. To get out of here, I think we want to go, like, here. No way. Is it up here? 
Y'all come this way, right? Nope. Okay, never mind. Nope, I went the wrong way. Come this way. Come this way. We got to go all the way up here, and I didn't see a way to fast travel over there. And what? Somewhere over here, there's danger. Yeah, yeah, right there. <laughs> Right there, there's danger. So just keep keep on keeping on. Don't go by the danger. Go around. I guess we could have just fast traveled to the uh, to the last light in. That's all right. I think it's up here and then to the right, but I yeah. Could also just go all the way over there and click a button but sometimes i feel like if you get your camera way too far ahead of your characters you don't realize when they've gotten completely lost and uh or refuse to jump over a little gap or something uh okay why are you going up top why are you going up top this owlbear is climbing a oh that's fair sure let's go over here Oh, by the way, exciting news! Baldur's Gate 3 has a physical, uh, a physical edition. In case you haven't seen it, uh, check out Larian Studios Twitter. Uh, it looks awesome. Very cool. All right. Very well. The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. I have the ledger, but I also have my doubts. Tell me why you want it first. Ah. How do you know? The raven always knows. The raven's a dickhole. The raven said no one loves me. I remember that. You think I forgot that? No, I'm deeply hurt by the raven. Why do you want it? To punish a murderer. If that is not enough, leave. I have no time for those lacking commitment. God damn it, I'm so curious. My gut tells me she's already dead. And one good deed does not, sorry, one bad deed does not deserve another. What good are you doing here? But my curiosity says, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial, and you will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. At least I get to be the judge and not this guy. I'd like to hear her story first. I imagine it's quite the tale. Careful, for a serpent in life is a serpent in death. You really death. think she's some mastermind? Behind, I think she was an unfortunate person in a scary regime who made a terrible mistake. Witness. <sighs> but we'll find out, we'll find out. Hey, he who was? I have a, uh, a book for you. I have a book in my inventory that I think you might like. You. He said I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Tell me what happened. I said it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was gonna chat with him. She promised. Is that exactly what she promised? I think she took into account what you said. I don't think she. I don't know. Maybe she just promised that. But did she promise also not to hurt them? What did the just Dark Justicia actually do to your friends? Let's get the facts here. She gave him a dagger each and told him to press it against their stomachs on the count of three to start stabbing and not stop till she said so. 
She never said oh. stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. Oh, buddy. Okay, so option one is not something I feel comfortable doing or watching. Um, yours is a classic tale of cowardice. Were you a character in a tale of mine, I would kill you off immediately. When I tell this tale, you won't be the villain, I promise. Dark Justiceer is to blame. It's also just simplistic to just hand out blame sometimes. I get it. I get it. I understand. Justice is what we're seeking, and justice needs a recipient. But sometimes unfortunate things oh, happen because mistakes get pushed out of... Get pushed out of line and, and held to such a... Ugh. I don't know that I feel completely comfortable saying this either, though. I think it might be my best option so far. And by that, I mean just how my gut feels, which you may feel very differently. It's just kind of how I feel. Let's see what happens. The thing here is also who am I, who am I, who am I persuading? DC 10, advantage. I get a bonus of 13 to 16. That'll do it. I think that's going to be a 30. Thirty-one. What I did was wrong, and I won't ever forgive myself. But hearing that just one person doesn't hate me, that one person forgives me, makes the load so much lighter. Thank you. Oh, he who was is gonna be. <laughs> he who is pissed. You were supposed to make her suffer. Not forgive her? That's weird. It sounds like you brought your idea of justice to this situation regardless of the regardless of what she said. Interesting, interesting. What happened wasn't her fault. She deserved forgiveness. I think it was kind of her fault. I think she blames herself and I think she rightly blames herself. Does she still for deserve forgiveness? I think it's possible. That doesn't matter. I seek the guilty, the tormented, the anguished. I love stuff like this. I love it. You have crossed me. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. And for that, I end your pathetic life. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, cool. Can I kill the fucking raven? I swear to God. 18 HP. I'll show you 18 HP. Jedar Kai Gloom Weaver. All right. It's a good thing we short rested. Um, Albert v. Raven. The burden of time. A nearby Shadar Kai is imposing disadvantage on this creature's saving throws. The bird is dead. We did 17. Hold up. How much damage did we do the first time? 21, then 17. I love the owlbear. Holy shit. Let's, I mean, let's do it, right? It gives. Let's do this in rage. Probably gives fearful and increases my own strength. Let's do it. Fearful. Oh no, it, I didn't read that in between the lines. Nearby creatures are fearful. Not just... Not just the enemies. Okay. You have been judged and found wanting. He who was is about to be... I was going to say what's the past tense of he who was, but it's... it's you're really about to be... He who was a long time ago. 
That doesn't make sense. Okay, let's just go kill him. Gonna take? <sighs> Not a lot of damage there. Oh, that was... Yeah, that's much better. Okay. The numbers overlap, so that was actually 13 plus stuff. Okay. 4 HP? Can I roll a 4 on my pommel strike? Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Come back, come back. Down to 1 HP here, so we did something, right? Knocked out. Does Pommel Strike always do non-lethal? It does. I should have known that. Okay. And these things have stayed interesting. Well, he who was is about to be he who was robbed. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. Return at once, this says. A plain unadorned note. He who was, what ails thy mind? The queen was clear. A full retreat to the shadow fell with all due haste. You beheld the fate of lover's whisper. After a ten day in the darkness, she knew not her name. These lands are rich in tragedy and memory, but our minds are vulnerable to the malignant curse. Lover's whisper strangled her own raven this morning. Her raven. The queen was incensed at the loss of her child and struck lover's whisper down, as was her right. Return at once or I will be forced to report your desertion of thine will. Their names are Of Thine Will, Lover's Whisper, and the Queen, uh, uh, and, uh, 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 Lover's Whisper, Of Thine Will, and He Who Was. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, I have not played this game in too long. I'm trying to remember exactly how I loot stuff. <laughs> Pick up that, and in terms of, like, whose inventory is what. Um, I think the arrows go to Carlac. Let's go loot here. Madeline, I guess. Gold. Camp supplies. How about this raven? The queen apparently loves these ravens. So, Madeline's le ledger we've already looted once before. He who was is probably going to wake up at some point with a massive headache. Uh, but, we've pulled it off. Still red on the map. It's interesting. We'll just run from that, I think. Uh, so, where does that put us? Well, we still have the uh, the Temple of Shar and the Thorn Mas the Thorn Mausoleum, aka Temple of Shar, uh, to do next. So, I think that would make for a good place to start. Um. Let's go ahead and, but first let's do something else. I think very soon, Attention. no, I have a great idea. Here's what we'll do, here's what we'll do. Sorry, my brain's a little all over the place here. Here's what we'll do. Let's go to Rifling Town, then let's make camp. Uh, let's actually long rest so that we can get uh, our hit points and stuff back. And also that we can, so that we can speak to Halson about Thania. That makes sense for this episode where we, uh... Where we were just learning about, uh... Oliver and Thaniel. Maybe it'll bring us closer. <clears throat> the druid Halsen spoke to me while I was sleeping. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But Aww. there is one anchor still holding the shadows in place. The soul that brought it into being. I love Daniel. For the, the little horns. Heal. Catherick Thorne must die. You're talking to the right person, Daniel. Let me at him. Whack, whack, whack. <clears throat> pop, pop, pop. I'm a bard. I can't do damage. Um, you're talking to the right person. I'll go get Karlek. Catherick Thorn must die. I love Daniel's little, uh, little horns.
beautiful design. I, I feel like the characters in this game are just beautiful. All right, talk to Halson. Oak Father, preserve you. You are covered in blood. <laughs> um. Okay, lots of dialogue here. Actually, we haven't ever said this one. I met a peer of yours, the Druid Jahira. Do you know her? Only by reputation. She was present when we marched against Ketherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. I think you're doing pretty well yourself. I mean, uh, Jahir is a beast, but your owlbear is also pretty fucking sick. You're an arch druid. What could you possibly have left to learn from anyone? Or do you have a crush on uh, <clears throat> Do you admire her? You seem to admire her greatly. There is much to admire, judging by the stories. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as arch druid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the grove? Controlled Korga? At least now we can benefit from her presence and perhaps work to a common goal. Oh, I'm so interested to see what happens of the Shadow Cursed Land. And it feels a little crazy that we've already almost finished the Shadow. But the one hurdle that remains is a pretty goddamn fucking big one. We gotta kill Kethrick Thorn, and I don't know how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> But I'm thinking, like, we got to find the other refugees. We had to find Zevlor, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, still lots of things to do here. What happened before when the Shadow Curse was unleashed? Druids and Harpers joined together to put a stop to Ketherick Thorm. We marched on Moonrise, and after much fighting, we prevailed. Even in defeat, though, Ketherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, the Shadow Curse took hold. No one had seen the likes of it before. No one knew how to react. Then it started to claim all those within its reach. Those who had survived the battles now fell to the Shadows, became part of the Shadows. And worst of all, I lost contact with Thaniel. I wanted to try and find him, but we couldn't stay. We would have all succumbed. When the Archdruid of the Grove, my predecessor, was seized by the curse, I had to lead the survivors to safety. That was my first day as Archdruid. An inauspicious beginning. Yeah, that's a terrible first day in office. Yeah. But... Sounds like you did what you had to and saved lives. Halson seems like such a great leader. Truly. Um, yeah. When auspicious, sounds like you did what you had to and saved lives. You are right, but I must not lose focus until everything has been put right. I've wasted too much time already. Years in which nature has suffered. We spent all these years fighting the Shadow Curse. What happens once it's lifted? Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. Well, I'll have you. <clears throat> um, of course. Only wish you'd join me earlier. You'll make a decent workhorse. This camp doesn't haul itself around every day. Each day. I'll see how useful you prove to be. Uh, of course. I wish you'd joined earlier. So do I. But one duty at a time. Oh. Alson appeals to the paladin part of my heart, which is crazy because... One duty at a time? Don't speak sexy to me like that. Uh, how am I holding up in your estimations? I've been unfair to you. 
I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But honestly, you've surpassed even those. Seemed my faith was more than well founded. Let's go. Good conversation. Moving ahead. Let's go talk to Karlak. <clears throat> it's not like I have one thing on my mind these days. It's just let's go talk to Karlak. Karlak, are you okay? You're laying down on the job. Um, and then we'll probably call it an episode here. Halson is one hench elf. I'm impressed and glad he's on our side. Hench? Hold up. What do you mean by that? Is that a word? Like henchmen? Is hench itself a uh, hench meaning? What does that mean? Strong, fit, and having well-developed muscles typically used of a man. Yeah, I mean, I will say his shoulders are bowling. They're bowling balls. And then below that are biceps, which are tree trunks. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I went to go flirt with Carlac and she talked to me about how hot Halson is. Ask me anything. All right, uh, let's go to bed. Seems simple enough. I'm gonna need more camp supplies soon. What was that? What just exploded? What was that? Did the mud method explode? What was that? I think a mud method just exploded. Camp just got destroyed there. Uh, okay. Scratch! wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. Give that here. Drop it, drop it. Good boy. Good boy. He gives Is that gold? And surrenders his find to you. It's a bone? Pet him. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. About three hours ago i got home from like eight days away from my house and i got to hang out with my dogs for the first time in eight days and so god damn it scratch is gonna make me cry again i had received bone let me see it let me see it that's so cute can i throw it what happens if i throw it throw a dog a bone good boy scratch <laughs> Ah, oh, it's so cute. We still have the ball? We do. You're so good. All right. Well, that's going to have to do it for our episode. Somehow that's been an hour. <laughs> and somehow that means I have reached the maximum amount of time that I have allocated to record an episode today. Which happens, I swear to God, every single day we play this game. I love it. I'm going to be so sad when this game is over. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like or a positive comment helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. You know the deal. I'm very happy to be back. I hope you're enjoying having these episodes back. You may have noticed, um, but hypothetically, I'm going to move the uh, hour of these videos release up one hour. Um, shout out to Ellie, one of our Ellie MJ, one of our uh, lovely viewers of the series who suggested that I do that so that the videos don't go live at the exact same moment that I'm going live on Twitch when Ellie wants to hang out at both. So I'm going to move these up an hour so you can check in an hour earlier if you want. Thanks for watching. We're 67 in, uh, episodes in and no sign of stopping soon. Uh, and I can't wait. So thanks very much for spending this hour with me. It means the world. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.